Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to show you how to justify elevation with the Stabila LAR350. Uh, so if you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so uh, lately on social media, I've had a lot of people asking, hey doctor, how do you figure out the post heights of your decks? And sometimes even the ledger board of, on the house, how do you check all that stuff out? Well. We like to use this device right here. This is the Stabila LAR350. It's kind of their upper echelon, top of the line laser. And I've actually been to the factory to see how these are made. And it's pretty amazing. These are IP65 rated. You can knock them over. You can use them in the rain. It doesn't really matter. They're made to withstand a lot of abuse. I thought I would go through and show you guys how we do it. We have an elevation stick right here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll figure out where the laser is on the house. And to do that, uh, the LAR350 comes with the receiver as well. So as I raise this up, can you hear that? There. When you have a solid beat, you're at the height of the laser, okay? So this is an auto leveling laser. So no matter which way I set it up, uh, it's gonna auto level itself within so many degrees. You gotta make sure your tripod's kind of level or else you're gonna end up with a issue. So there also comes with a remote, which is kind of cool. This remote will allow you to use hand functions to tilt the laser if you need to actually put it out of level or askew or maybe forward or backward. So I'm not the greatest at those functions, but I have actually tilted this laser before to put it out of level so that we could build the deck. Oops. So we could build the deck. It's okay. It can take the abuse. That we were able to put build the deck a little bit because the house is a little bit out of level. So we built the deck out of level as well. But instead of trying to figure out each post location and the height, we we're able to use this and we got them all in, in like 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna run over the house. We're gonna take our receiver and we're gonna find out where this laser dot is. Okay, so the laser's spinning and the line, you can't really see it on the house, right? That's what the receiver's for. So as it comes into range, it'll start beeping. Okay, and then there's gonna be an arrow on the receiver. And as I get closer to the line, that arrow decreases until it turns into a solid beep. right there. So that's where I know that's where the laser is. That's my laser line. All right, so now I know where my laser is, right? From here up, I can count on. So basically, there's the top of my ledger. I'm pretty much 46 and a half plus. We're just gonna say 46 and a half. I'm 46 and a half inches from the top of my joist. So I have to subtract the thickness of the joist and the thickness of the beam to know where the top of my posts are. All right, so my joists are nine and a half. My beam's 11 and a half. So I got 11 and a half here, plus nine and a half is 21. Plus I want to add a half inch of drop. So I'm at 21 and a half inches, 21 and a half. Okay, from the top of my joist, I have to be down 21 and a half. So I've got 46 and a half to my laser. So what I gotta do is take 46 and a half minus 21 and a half, it's 25 inches. So whatever my laser height is, I have to add 25 inches to it to get the height of my post. So let's check that out and see if that works. All right, so normally, let's just say this deck wasn't built, like this post wasn't installed yet. I would put my elevation stick right on top of this footing. So it's sitting on this saddle. Okay, just for giggles, I'm just gonna say the ground is my saddle. Okay, so I got my elevation stick right here. I've got my receiver. It's telling me to go up. Okay, I'm too high, come down. Now I can kind of see the reflection of the laser. I don't know if you can see it, it's very close to this line, if in this red area right here. Okay, I'm dead money. There's my line. Just for giggles, we know it's 25 inches, right? Our constant measurement was 25 inches. So technically, I should be close to 25 inches. Okay, there's your 25 inches, okay. But that doesn't tell us how tall to make the post. 
we got to take that 25 inches and measure from the top of our footing and add that 25 inches. So basically, I just measure my measuring stick to my pencil mark. I got 61 and a half inches. So I'll take 61 and a half and I'll add 25, or this is how I figured them out the other day, as I actually just burned, I burned 25 inches on the bottom of my, of my elevation stick, and then I just went up to my measurement line and I'm at 86 and 5 eighths. So then I would cut my post at 86 and 5 eighths, and that's how you figure it out. So that's how I figured out. There's a lot of different ways to do this, guys. I'm just sharing with you one way we do. The thing is, by using that laser and creating a control measurement, then you just take your variable height from the footing to the laser and add your 25 inches or whatever yours might end up being, and then you have what you need for your elevations of your posts. And that's what we did yesterday. And they're already set and ready to go. All we have to do now is do the layout on the deck and start running Joyce. Thanks for watching this video. If you got something out of it or if you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content, which is usually three days a week. And don't forget to like our videos and leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.